Turn your Bibles this morning if you have your Bible. I don't want to be long before you, but Luke chapter number 16. Amen. Carolyn was joking around about me firing them. Amen. It's, no, I ain't going to fire nobody. Amen. It's homecoming. Amen. Amen. If everybody here wanted to sing this morning, we'd just sing. We'd preach. Amen. We'd have a good time. Amen. Amen. I believe if God's in it, amen, then there's time for it. Amen. I believe that. I, I, I certainly do. If God is in it, there is time for it. Amen. Luke chapter number 16. This morning is where I'm going to be. I'm going to uh, preach to you from a familiar scripture. God gave me this message weeks ago, weeks ago it seems like, and uh, I, I, I didn't know when to preach it, and it seemed like he just laid it right on my heart and said, save that for homecoming, save that for homecoming, save that for homecoming, amen, so uh, I'm, I'm going to save it for homecoming, amen, amen, he ain't changed my mind yet, amen, amen, but uh, Luke chapter 16, I ask you to stand when you get turned there this morning, amen. Stretch your leg for a minute, amen. We're standing in reverence to God's word, but it'll help your blood flow a little bit and not fall asleep <laughs> on me this morning. Amen. 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 All right. Uh, Mark, Luke, Luke chapter 16. Excuse me. Luke chapter 16. Uh, I'm going to read two verses of scripture, and uh, then we'll go to the Lord in prayer, and I'll give you my thought. Luke chapter 16, verse 22. It says, And it came to pass that the beggar died, and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom, the rich man also died and was buried. And in hell he lift up his eyes, being in torments, and seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the opportunity to stand again and preach your word. Dear Lord, we thank you for the service that we've had so far. We thank you for filling your spirit for confirming yourself to us, dear Lord. We thank you for that. We pray that you just uh, go with us now in this preaching hour, dear Lord, and help us to say the right things and, and, and to uh, uplift you. I pray if there's one lost this morning that you would save them from a devil's hell. In Jesus' name, and amen. You can be seated this morning. Amen. Here I want to look. Amen. I don't want you to let the uh, that this is familiar scripture. Don't let that turn you away this morning. Amen. I know this is familiar scripture. I ain't the first preacher to preach out of this uh, chapter. Amen. I ain't going to be the last preacher probably to preach out of this chapter unless the Lord comes back. Amen. But uh, amen. Uh, uh, here you know the story. You know what's happened here. Amen. If you've been in church any amount of time, uh, this is the story about the rich man and Lazarus. And uh, the Bible says in verse 19, there was a certain rich man. Amen. And, 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 and then it said in verse 20, and there was a certain beggar. Amen. So there's two people there in that story. Amen. And we find out this morning, we, you, you read the story, you'll find what we read out so far, amen, is that they both died. Amen. The Bible says it's appointed that a man wants to die. Amen. Amen. It is appointed unto us to die. Amen. And they both died. And it said that the beggar, Lazarus there, the beggar, he was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. And But it said, and the rich man die, also died and was buried. And it said, and in hell he lift up his eyes. And in hell... He lift up his eyes. Amen. I know it's, it's homecoming. Amen. And, and uh, uh, say, preacher, we ought to preach all happy and everything. Amen. Uh, that's what we've done. I'm afraid sometimes we've done that too much. Amen. We've looked at the, uh, we, we've tried to be happy and stay away from, the, uh, from hell. Amen. But I want to preach on hell for a minute this morning. Amen. Uh, say, preacher, I, I was sitting over there as, I was, as they were singing and I thought, God, I thought, is there somewhere else you want me to go? I don't, I don't get how these songs match up with the, with the message. I, I want to follow you. And it seemed like he told me they match up just fine. Amen. Because guess what? Amen. You can, we, 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 there's a lot of songs sung about going to heaven. Amen. Hey, I'm, I'm excited about it. Amen. Are you? Amen. I'm excited about going to heaven. Amen. But I got to thinking there might be some here that don't know what we're singing about. Amen. That don't have that hope that we can look forward to. Boy, that ought to burden us, amen. It ought to burden us, amen, when we sing those songs and, 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 and we can rejoice that uh, those of us that are saved, but there's some uh, that are on their way to hell, amen. The Bible says that wide is, 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 is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, amen. It said many there be which go in thereat, amen. That means there's going to be many uh, that are in hell, amen, amen. So I want to look this morning, amen, and tell you a few things about hell, and, and I don't have no complex message this morning. Amen. I'm just going to let the Bible preach. 
Amen? Because the Bible can. Amen? I can't preach. Amen? Amen? I can't preach. I ain't never been a preacher that stood that could preach. Amen? God can preach. Amen? Amen? But I want you to know, number one, uh, just by way of introduction, know what hell is it? There's some things in this day and age, amen, I believe over time that we've forgotten what hell is because we've, we, we, we've, we, we've talked so much about uh, we, we, we believe what it isn't. Amen. Hell this morning is not a cuss word. Can I tell you that? We've made it one, but it ain't one. Amen. Hell's not a cuss word. Amen. Hell is not a slang term. Amen. It's not just your territory and where you're from. Amen. No, 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 friend. Hell is not a cuss word. It's not a slang thing. It's not something that you can go through. That's right. That's right. Amen. Think about that. It's not something that you can go through. Well, there was a popular uh, country music song when I was growing up that said, if you're going through hell, that's the biggest lie ever. That's right. Amen. There ain't a day on this earth that can compare with the sufferings of hell. Amen. Your worst day, amen. Your worst day, your worst time, your worst year, amen, I can't compare to hell. Amen. amen. Can I tell you that, amen? So hell's not something you're going through, amen. It's not a slang word. It's not a cuss word. It's not a party, amen. Amen. There's going to be a lot of people there, amen, but it ain't a party. Amen. Amen. It ain't a party, amen. Can I tell you this? It ain't fictional. It ain't fictional this morning. Amen? Amen. Why? Say, preacher, what, what, what do you mean? Why we've gotten so used to uh, watching movies and reading books and everything else under the sun that makes light of hell. Amen? Amen. Why? why uh, we, we, uh, friend, I, I want, you know, even the very, the Bible says the very elect are going to be deceived. Amen? I believe we're seeing that. Amen? Amen? Amen. Even the ones that once stood for something, amen, they don't think it's that bad anymore. Amen? Hey, friend, there, there's, there's preachers, amen, and this ain't going to be popular. There's preachers that use hell as a cuss word, amen, uh, from the pulpit. Amen? Amen? amen. Hell's not, it's not something you're ever going to go through here. I promise you that. Amen. I promise you that. Amen. So let's establish what hell is not. Amen. We know that. Now I want to look, amen, at the rest of this chapter here and just give you a small thought on what the rich man found in hell. Amen. What the rich man found in hell. Amen. The Bible said in verse 23, in hell he lift up his eyes. Amen. That tells me that he could see some things. He lifted up his eyes, amen. He wasn't blinded, amen. He knew what he was looking at, amen, when he got to hell, amen. Say, preacher, uh, why we really just don't know what it's like, amen. I believe we don't know the full extent, amen, but the Bible's not shy about telling us, amen. I say, preacher, I don't believe you ought to preach on hell. Well, if, it was, if, it was, if it wasn't meant for me to preach on hell, God wouldn't have put it in the Bible. Amen. Amen. We need to be talking about hell. Amen. Amen. Uh, friend, I want you to, I got saved. I want to tell you this this morning. Amen. Uh, we, we was at a singing last night and they said not many people give their testimony anymore. And that broke my heart. Because I thought I don't give mine enough. Amen. Amen. As a six-year-old boy, God saved my soul. Amen. I didn't get saved because of how beautiful heaven was. Amen. I didn't know as a six-year-old boy. Amen. I, I didn't get saved because mom and daddy took me to church. Amen. I'm glad they did. Amen. But that's not why I got saved. Amen. I got saved because I didn't want to go to hell. Amen. Amen. I got saved because I knew uh, the friend that hell was real and hell was hot. Amen. And it wasn't for me. Amen. 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 Can I tell you this morning? Amen. If you die and go to hell, you will be a, uh, a trespasser. It's not for you this morning. Amen. But the rich man here, he died and he went to hell. Amen. Can I tell you this? Amen. Number one, I need you to note this before we get any further. He didn't die and go to hell because he was rich. He did not die and go to hell because he was rich. Amen. Amen. Riches will not send you to hell. Amen. The Bible says it's easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the gates of heaven. Amen. But then a few verses down it says, With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Amen. Amen. God can take anybody to heaven. Amen. God can save anybody. Amen. Amen. I've heard them say before, well, preacher, you just don't know. You just don't know. You're probably right, I don't. Amen. And I don't want to. 
Amen. I don't want to know. Amen. Amen. But I do know God can save you. Amen. I do know that. Amen. Amen. So we see the rich man, he, he, he died and he went to hell. Amen. And I want to tell you a few things that he found. Look at verse 23. It says, In hell he lift up his eyes and being in torments and seeth Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue for I am tormented in this flame. Amen. But Abraham said, Son, remember thou, that thou in thy lifetime receivest thy good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things, but now he is comforted, and thou art tormented. Amen. Amen. I want you to know, I don't know if you caught that in those three verses, but there's one word that kept coming up. The rich man found torment Amen. in hell. Amen. The rich man, amen, let me just say this, let me just preface it with this, amen, he's still finding those things today. They ain't quit today. Amen. I mean, I might be getting ahead of myself a little bit. Amen. But he's still finding torment today. Amen. Amen. But he said, uh, he said, he said, he was, he lifted up his eyes in hell and he was instantly. Amen. It didn't take 15 minutes. Amen. There wasn't a holding period. There wasn't a waiting period. It said, it said he lifted up his eyes in hell. In hell, he lifted up his eyes being in torment. Amen. amen. The pain started as soon as he got there. Amen. The pain started freeing. Can I tell you this morning, if you're lost without Christ, amen, and you die, amen, and you don't make it out of this sanctuary today, which let me tell you, you're not promised to, amen. You ain't promised to make it till we get downstairs to eat. Amen. God can take you out, amen, amen. But let me tell you, if you get out of this world, amen, if God takes you out and you're lost, amen, and, you, and you've come to the knowledge of salvation, you will instantly be in torment. Amen? You're not going to go somewhere and think about it. Amen. You ain't going to go somewhere and wait. Amen? You're going to be in torment. I look up that word torment this week. Amen? That word means severe physical or mental suffering. Amen. And it, it meant that he, just his body wasn't hurting. Amen. Just his body wasn't hurting. You're going to see here in a minute, I'm, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but there were some things that went through his mind. Amen? 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 Amen. It just ain't going to be your body. That hurts, amen. Boy, I want you to know, amen. I don't know about you, amen. But boy, I, I, if you get in trouble, amen, and something happens, amen. Uh, I, I remember as a kid, amen, I broke my thumb once. And boy, that hurt. I, I was driving a bicycle. And I, was, I was trying to uh, be the next big thing riding around my mom's driveway over there. I was just riding over and over and over. And next thing you know, whoop, there I went. Boom, broke that thumb. And boy, that hurt. That hurt. I cried like a baby. Amen, that hurt. Amen. That hurt. Phys physical pain. That hurt. But guess what? I got over it. Amen. But boy, when something happens emotionally to you in your mind, boy, it hurts. That takes time to get over. Man, that takes time to get over. There ain't no time frame for that. Amen. There ain't no time frame for that. Amen. Amen. You know, that's why a lot are out of, are out of church today. Amen. Let me just go ahead and tell you that this morning. A lot's been hurt by Christians. Amen. In their mind. Amen. And it's taken a long time to get out of that. Amen. And let me tell you, you ain't going to get them out of it. I'm not going to get them out of it. God's going to get them out of it. Amen. amen. If anybody's going to. Amen. But it said that torment was severe physical or mental suffering. Amen. I believe he suffered mentally. Amen. I believe uh, that, that it hurt him uh, to be there. Not just the pain. Amen. Say, so preacher, he, he might get used to the pain. Amen. I don't believe that. Amen. According to the Bible in Mark chapter number 9, he's not going to get used to the pain. Amen. But friend, after a while, he might be there for a while, but that, that pain in his head, amen, I don't think it's going to go away. Amen. amen. I don't think that'll go away, amen. Can I tell you this? Look at verse uh, 24. I want you to get this, amen. I want you to get said, And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue. And at the end of that verse, he said, I am tormented in this flame. Amen. Did you catch that? Did you catch that? I, I want you to get that. I want you to get that. He, he had his own flame. He had his own flame. Amen. Think of that. He couldn't look, he couldn't look at so-and-so over there and say, here, you take a little bit of mine. Nope, the devil had prepared for him right there his own flame. His own flame. His own flame. Amen. Think about that now. He, 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 was, he said, I'm tormented in this flame. Not, not in the midst of these flames, but in this flame. Amen. Amen. Can I tell you this morning, if you're lost, amen, and on your way to hell, the devil's waiting on you with a flame. Amen. With a flame with your name on it. 
Amen. The day I got saved, guess what? The devil couldn't use that flame for me no more. Amen. He couldn't use that flame for me no more. Amen. Amen. Uh, that flame, it went out for me. Amen. I don't have to worry about that no more. Amen. Amen. That's why, that's why we can sing and rejoice about going to heaven. Amen. It's because we don't have to worry about hell anymore. Amen. It's not a problem anymore for us. Amen. But if you're lost this morning, amen, it's a problem for you. Amen. Hell is real. Amen. I want you to know, number one, he found torment. Amen. Number two, uh, verse 24. Amen. I just read that. Amen. He asked for last. Lazarus uh, to dip his finger in water and cool his tongue. Amen. Amen. Can I tell you what the rich man found? No relief. He found absolutely no relief. Think about that now. Boy, I, I want you, you know what my favorite thing is? Tylenol. I love it. <laughs> Boy, I get a headache and I go right in there in that cabinet and pop a few Tylenols and 30 minutes, it's gone. Most of the time. 30 minutes, it's gone. Amen. Boy, ain't that nice? Ain't that nice stuff? Boy, can you imagine? I, I tell you, when, 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 I, when I discovered what Tylenol, you would have thought I, I discovered light. It was great. It was great. Amen. It was great. Amen. Amen. Say, preacher, what are you trying to say? I'm trying to say that when, when we go through things down here, there's, there's relief. Amen. There's ways of relieving. Amen. There's, there's, there, there's way. Friend, when, uh, when God puts you through hard times, there's a relief promised. Amen. If you're going to heaven when you die, there's a relief coming for you. Amen. amen. There's a relief. God's not, uh, I want you to know this morning, amen, uh, get this in your head this morning, God's not obligated uh, to, to lift all your problems off of you. Amen. He's not obligated, friend. I, I'm 24 years old this morning, amen. God lets me live uh, to be 100, amen. If He does, amen, let me tell you, friend, he, he could, the same problems that I've got today, He could leave them on me all the way till I'm 100 and I'd still be blessed. Amen. 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 And if God took me out then, amen, that's when my relief would come. Amen. 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 Now, God is merciful. Amen. Uh, oftentimes, God gives us relief down here. Amen. But He ain't obligated to. No, don't, don't mistake that. Amen. But, but here the rich man, he found no relief. Amen. amen. He said, he said uh, get Lazarus. He said, hey, Abraham, go get Lazarus and just, ha just have him dip his finger in water. Amen. He didn't say have him bring me a cup. He didn't get a nice little bottle like this. Uh -uh. No, he didn't. He didn't say, "I want a big bottle of water." Amen. Give me a big bucket of water and pour it on me. No, he said, "He said just the tip of his finger, just the tip of his finger." What was the response? Abraham, verse twenty-five said, "But Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in thy lifetime receivest thy good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things. But now he is comforted, and thou art tormented." Amen. And thou art tormented, friend. Amen. Amen. In verse 26, he said, Beside all this, between us and you, there is a great gulf fixed, so that they which would pass from hence to you cannot, neither can they pass to us that would come from thence. Amen. Say, so, preacher, what are you trying to say? I'm trying to say this, friend. There was no relief. There was no chance of relief. Amen. And still today, there's no chance of relief for the rich man. Amen. For that man in hell, there's no chance of relief for him. Amen. Amen. You die and go to hell, you'll never know what relief feels like. Amen. You'll never know what relief feels like. Amen. You ever burnt yourself? Amen. Amen. You ain't even got to treat it sometimes. Amen. Just a few days, it'll go away. Amen. It won't hurt. Amen. That ain't like that in hell. Amen. It ain't like that in hell. Amen. There's no relief. Amen. There's no relief. Uh, the Bible said in Mark chapter number 9, it says it's a place where the fire is not quenched and the worm dieth not. Amen. I, I heard a preacher one time explain that to me. I never really understood that. Amen. I had a preacher explain that. He said, he said the worm is me and you. Amen. The worm's the smallest thing. The worm's what? Keeping you ticking. Amen. Keeping you ticking. You, your body might shut down. You might be done. But you're still going to feel it. Amen. You're still going to feel it. You die and go to hell. Amen. Say, preacher, uh, surely to goodness I'll suffer and die. No. No, hell's eternal. Has turn them. Amen. Where the worm, where the fire is not quenched. The worm dieth not. Amen. You're going to wish you were dead. Amen. But you won't get that relief. Amen. No relief in hell. Can I tell you this? Let me tell you this. The luxuries of life are gone. Amen. The luxuries of life are gone in hell. Now, now we see that the rich man, he found, he found torments in hell. He found no relief in hell. Look at verse uh, 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 25 again. It said, But Abraham said, Son, remember. Always in your Bible, I want you to stop, amen. When you study your Bible, you stop and you circle that word remember. 
Amen. Or you, you don't have to circle or something. You just pay attention to what comes after. When God tells you to remember, amen, that means it's time for you to listen up. Amen. He says, remember that thou in thy lifetime receivest thy good things. Amen. And likewise, Lazarus, evil things, but now he is comforted and thou art tormented. You know what the rich man found in hell? He instantly found regret. Amen. He instantly found regret. Amen. I've often said this in my preaching before. If I could, if, if, if I could just open up hell for just a minute. If I could just open up, if I could just say, everybody gather around right here and let's open up hell. Every lost person would be at the altar getting saved. And all of us that have gotten lazy and gotten weak on God, amen, we'd be going and bringing them. We'd be going out there and getting them. We'd be getting the work, amen. It would uh, light a fire under us. Amen. We do something about it. Amen. Amen. But the rich man, amen. Hey, hey friend, I, I want you to know the rich man here, he, 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 it said in verse, notice verse 19, it said, There was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. He lived the dream. The world's dream. The world's dream. Amen. The world's dream. Amen. I want you to know, uh, friend, you can't take that money with you. You can have all the money in the world. You can have the mansion on the hill, friend, but you ain't going to take it with you, amen? There ain't nothing wrong with having money. There ain't nothing wrong with having a mansion on a hill, but it ain't going with you, no. amen? The mansion God's got for you in heaven is a lot better. Amen. 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 But it, it said, And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus which was laid at his gate full of sores, desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. Amen. He desired the crumbs. He desired the crumbs. And, and, and it seems to me that it wasn't that the rich man didn't know he was there. The rich man knew he was there. Amen. Because Abraham said, remember. He said, remember. Remember. Amen. Amen. I, I want you to know the rich man, when he opened his eyes in hell, he opened his eyes with regret. Amen. With regret. Amen. Amen. I believe that, that he, if he knew, amen, and, 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 and don't get me wrong, amen, uh, friend, uh, I'm, I'm thankful today, amen, if you die and go to hell, amen, it ain't going to be my fault. It ain't going to be mom and daddy's fault. Can I tell you that, amen? It's going to be your own fault. If you're sitting under the sound of my voice today, amen, amen, you can't blame it on nobody else, amen. There's a lot, we go out and visit, amen, and there's a lot, they'll, they'll, they'll tell you, they'll say, well, you know, so-and-so got out of church, and, and I know them hypocrites down there at the church and everything, and, and they will, and, and, and I don't argue with them. I don't argue with them. Guess what? This morning, this crowd this big, this church is full of hypocrites. <laughs> amen. They're exactly right. Church full of hypocrites. Amen. I believe that. Amen. They're exactly right that some have gotten out of church. Amen. Amen. But they're using that as an excuse to not go. Amen. And they're going to use that excuse and blame that excuse all the way to hell. Amen. 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 And it's not going to be that, that person's fault they got out of church. It's going to be their fault. Amen. Amen. It's going to be their fault. Amen. If you die and go to hell, it's your fault. Amen. And, and here, uh, the rich man, amen, he, he's, his mind's taken back. His mind's taken back to his life. Amen. When he received the good things in his life. Amen. And his life on earth. Amen. But now, he's not receiving good things anymore. Amen. And if he had just, can I tell you, the rich man wouldn't have went to hell if he had accepted Christ. Amen. If he just believed God, he wouldn't have went to hell. Amen. But he believed the world. He believed his riches. Amen. Can I tell you this? You die and go to hell this morning, there'll be nothing but regret for the rest of your days. There'll be nothing but regret for the rest of your days. Now let, now let me move right along. Amen. Let me move right along. Look at verse 26. Verse 26. I want you to see this. I want you to see this. I've just got, I've just, got just a little bit more. Verse 26 says, Beside all this, between us and you there is a great gulf fixed, so that they which would pass from hence to you cannot Neither can they pass to us that would come from thence. Say, so, preacher, what were you trying to say? I'm trying to say the rich man, he found disappointment Amen. in hell. No more chances. Did you catch that? He said, he said there is a between us and you. Abraham saying, between me and Lazarus over here and you. And you is what he said. There's a great gulf fixed. Amen. He said, he said that they which would pass from hence to you cannot. Right. You know what that tells me? Boy, it tells me that Lazarus would have went and dipped his finger in the water and gave it to the rich man if he could have. Yeah. 
He said that they, he said, so that they which would pass. There was some, hey friend, amen, I, I want you to know, don't, can I tell you this, amen, I, I know this is a message mostly to the lost, amen, but to the saved folk this morning, I want you to know, it's going to be too late one day. You're going, you're going to have a little bit of regret. Amen. I believe it. Amen. Amen. Uh, there's many schools of thought on whether or not we're going to be at the uh, great white throne judgment. We're not going to be judged there. Amen. But I believe we'll be there. I believe we'll see those souls. Amen. I believe there'll be some. I've said this from the day I started preaching. I believe there's some that are going to look at us. Amen. And they're going to say, why did you not tell me? Why did you not come by every day? Why did you not? Why? 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 Amen. Amen. And it's not going to be your fault that they went to hell. I told you it's going to be their fault. Amen. It's a personal decision. Amen. I, I, friend, I, I can't make that decision for anybody but myself. Amen. I, I can't do that. Amen. Amen. It's not going to be our fault, but I believe we're going to have some regret that we didn't try a little bit harder. Amen. 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 But when we get to heaven, friend, amen, uh, we can't pass over into hell and pull them out. We can't pass over into hell and pull them out, friend. Amen. Amen. The rich man, though, I can I tell you this? There was this. He found disappointment. Amen. He found that he wasn't. Uh, can I tell you this? He wasn't hanging with his buddies down there. Catch that. He wasn't hanging with his buddies. Amen. Amen. He said, between us and you. Amen. He said, look. Amen. He, he was, uh, back, back to verse 24, he was tormented in that flame. Amen. I believe he was isolated. Amen. I believe it wasn't no party with his buddies. Amen. I believe he didn't have no good time down there. Amen. Uh, this, he might have thought it was something else. Amen. You know a lot today. Amen. Uh, there's still preachers. Amen. They're few and far between. But there's still preachers that preach against hell. Amen. There's still preachers that preach that hell's hot. Amen. There are still preachers that preach that today. Amen. Believe that or not. Amen. There are some that preach that. Amen. But I want you to know there's a lot that's heard that and hasn't listened because they haven't taken it seriously. They thought, well, and why? This is what I opened up with. We've got all kinds of movies. We've got all kinds of, we got music. Amen. Why, why the modern day Christians, I won't even mention hell. That's pitiful. That is pitiful, friend. Amen. Amen. We, we've got we've let Hollywood dictate what hell is. Amen. 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 And so they don't think it's going to be that bad. Amen. But the rich man, when he opened his eyes in hell, amen, he was disappointed. Amen. He found disappointment. Amen. Can I tell you this? Amen. I don't know what you think this morning hell is. Amen. That's keeping you from going to heaven. Amen. Amen. I don't know what you think hell's going to be. Amen. But let me tell you, you're going to be greatly disappointed. Amen. You're going to be greatly disappointed. Amen. I've talked to him before. Amen. I used to know a guy. Amen. He said, he said, I'm going to die and go to hell. And when I get down there, I'm going to run the place. I knew that guy when I was in college. I ain't talked to him in a long time. I, I, I don't know how to get a hold of him anymore. But, 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 but I, 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 when he'd say that, I'd tell him, no, you're not. No, you're not. You, you don't have a clue what's coming. You don't have, well, friend, I want you to know, if, if, if he doesn't get saved, amen, he's going to be in for some disappointment. Amen. Yeah. Amen. You ain't going to run the place in hell. Amen. I don't care how big, bad you think you are. Amen. Amen. You might be the best sinner on the block. Amen. I tell you, some of the best sinners on the block, amen, make the, good, the best preachers. I learned that. Amen. I've learned that. Amen. Amen. The best sinners on the block, sometimes they'll make the best preachers. Amen. Amen. But you ain't going to make the best person in hell. Amen. Amen. You ain't going to run the place. Amen. Amen. It ain't like prison. Think about that. It ain't like prison. Amen. You can't reduce your sentence. You cannot reduce your sentence. Amen. Amen. There's no parole. Amen. In hell. Amen. Amen. It is eternal. Amen. Uh, it is, uh, the rich man found disappointment. And last but not least, I want to show you this. I want you to see this. Amen. I hope I haven't been too long. Look at verse 27. He said, Then he said, I pray thee, therefore, Father, that thou wouldest send him to my father's house. It's the rich man talking. Don't, don't get confused. It's the rich man talking. He said in verse 28, I want you to get this. Grasp hold of this. He said, For I have five brethren that he may testify unto them, lest they also come into this place of torment. Amen. You know what the rich man found? When he went to hell, we, we've seen he found torment. We've seen that a uh, friend, he found the regret and disappointment, no relief, amen. But let me tell you, uh, most of all, he found that it was too late. Amen. He found that it was too late. Found that it was too 
light. Amen. I, I, I was thinking as I was studying this for the past few weeks, uh, like I said, God gave me this several weeks ago, and, 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 and I was thinking, you know, the, the, those singers, amen, I, I remember, I can't remember the guy's name that uh, used to be the, uh, he was the lead singer for that band ACDC, and he said, when we get to hell, we're going to have a party, amen, he was, uh, they, they, that song, Highway to Hell. Amen. And you know, there's a bunch of idiots. Amen. I'm, I'm not taking that term back. There's a bunch of idiots that'll stand up and sing that song and throw their hands up more than we would Amen. about going to heaven. Amen. 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 But let me tell you, friend, uh, the, 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 uh, uh, he, he, the one that died, amen, and if he, if he never did get saved, amen, I can't speak for his soul, amen, but I didn't leave a testimony of salvation, amen. Amen. Can I tell you, if he was here, amen, he could probably come back up there and grab every band member that he had with him. He'd say, hey, listen, uh, it's, it was all a lie, amen. Quit singing that song. Uh, shut the speaker off, amen. Uh, quit uh, living this lifestyle. Get saved. Get right with God, amen, because it ain't what we thought it was going to be, buddies. Amen. It ain't going to be like that, amen, but guess what? He can't. He can't. He can't. Amen. He can't. Amen. But see, the rich man, he found, amen, he found when he was in hell, it was too late. Amen. What, what did Abraham say to him? In verse 29, Abraham saith unto them, they have Moses and the prophets, let them hear them. And he said, Nay, Father Abraham, but if one went unto them from the dead, they will repent. And he said unto him, if they hear not Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, though one rose from the dead. Amen. You know, that, that verse was before Christ died on the cross. But boy, it stands true today, don't it? Amen. There's one that rose from the dead. It's living at the right hand of the throne of God. Amen? Living at the right hand of the throne of God. And there's still some that won't be persuaded. There's still some that won't believe. Amen. There's still some that are holding on to this world. Amen. Can I tell you this? I, I want you to know this. I want you to know this. Amen. No more sermons. We're going to be preached for Him. Amen. No more preaching. Somebody said, praise God. Amen. Amen. No, no, but no, really. No, friend, no more sermons. Amen. Amen. No more sermons. Amen. But can I tell you, every day I bet He begs to hear one more. Amen. I bet He begs for it. Oh, friend, hey, friend, uh, can I tell you, uh, nobody is ever going to knock on His door again and invite Him to church. You know, I, I was I was talking to somebody earlier about us going out on visitations, and you know we've we, we've met a few that's been real friendly. We've met some that ain't been too friendly. Amen. Amen. You walk, usually the pastors you walk up to say they got a little sign that says Jesus saves or something on the doorstep. You think, all right, here we go, and you knock on the door, and they say, get out of here. Amen. <laughs> My gosh. How about make you quit going to church? Amen. I'm just kidding. Amen. But friend, I, 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 there, there's some. Amen. There, there's some. That, 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 oh, they don't, I don't want keep, keep that Jesus stuff out of here. Don't come knock on my door. Don't come bother me. Nobody's going to knock on his door again, but I guarantee you he's wishing somebody could. Amen. He's wishing somebody could. Amen. amen. I guarantee you if the rich man, amen, amen, if, 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 friend, if, if he could, amen, he would, he would have the longest conversation. Amen. We went and knocked on the door. That'd be the only house we'd get to that day. So he'd say, I don't want to go back. He said, sit here and just talk with me all day long. He said, talk to me. Talk to me. But friend, nobody's going to knock on his door. No, no more work could be done. He had nothing else he could do. He, was he, he said, go tell my five brethren. Go tell them that it ain't what we thought. But he, that couldn't happen. Amen. That couldn't happen. Amen? He couldn't do it. Can I tell you this? Can I tell you this? is the last thought I've got. Hey, no more altar call. No more altar calls. Friend. Now, I, I, I want you to know this morning, you, you, uh, I didn't get saved at church. I didn't get saved at church. Uh, when, when I got saved, I want you to know, when I got saved, there wasn't a preacher within distance of where I was at. There uh, wasn't a preacher there, amen. Uh, the closest one was my Papa Webb, and he was over the hill. Amen. <laughs> uh, pretty good streets down, amen. Amen. Uh, there, wasn't a, there wasn't a preacher uh, within distance, amen. Nobody uh, stood up at, at, at that moment in my living room there and said, come to the altar. No physical person did. Amen. But I remember when I, when I got saved, I remember, I remember I was standing there, and I, I, I knew I was lost. I knew I was going to hell. 
Amen. Nobody had to tell me. I knew I was going. Amen. I figured that out. Amen. Amen. And I remember I was eating a, I was eating a snack cake. I was eating a little moon pie. And I remember that tug. It wasn't a preacher that tugged me. It wasn't mom and daddy that tugged me. It was God giving that altar call. Amen. God gave that altar call. Amen. Amen. Can I tell you here in a minute, amen. Amen. We're going to give an altar call here. Amen. It ain't me giving an altar call. It's God. Amen. God giving you opportunity. You know, I, I, I can look back. I can look back at that day that I got saved there on that couch over there in, in that house. And I, I, can, I, I can look back at that day and I can tell you I, I didn't deserve that opportunity. Especially with how I've treated God since then. And if you if you write with God, you you be able to say that about yourself too, Amen. 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 We haven't we haven't treated him uh, worth anything, Amen. Amen. But I want you to know I, I didn't deserve that opportunity, but God gave that opportunity. Amen. Miss Carolyn, come on to the pen. I, I want everyone to stand this morning as she makes her way up here and and gets the song ready. I want you to this this is what's called an altar call, Amen. It's a call to the altar, Amen. And God doesn't have to give you the opportunity. But He does. Amen. But He does. Can I tell you this? Amen. If God is dealing with you this morning, come to Him. Amen. Don't wait till you get home. Don't wait till you get home. Don't wait till you're in the car. You come now. Because God ain't obligated to deal with you. God promises you a chance. And He'll give you that chance. I don't know what you need, maybe. You might say, preacher, it's a salvation message, amen. But friend, I know that, amen. But you might be in a bad place with God. Amen. This might be your only chance to make things right with God. I wouldn't want to go out of here wrong with God, amen. My heart not be in the right place. I wouldn't want to do that. I wouldn't want to do that. If you have a need, come as she plays.